from or wisdom from managers. Never a good idea to lose a game, is what you said there. I mean, he's right. It's never a good idea to no, lose a game. Is he's it? nailed it there. <laughs> yes, he has. He has. <laughs> Um, RB Leipzig they have lost both of their games in the Champions League so far but if you look at the Bundesliga they are joint top is Slot right not to take this game lightly then? I don't think you can not any team away from home especially in the Champions League the, the standard's so high and the new format I'm not sure whether the new format of the Champions League will throw up some anomalies if you like you know with, with teams you're not home and away against certain teams so maybe they're Do you might- like that? I'm interested to see. I'm one of these people that when they throw something new up in a format of whatever, I'd rather give it a go and then decide afterwards rather than say, oh, I don't like that. It's it's not, not so good. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Just suck it and see. Exactly. Because a lot you don't of people like could, it, yeah. fine. Okay, but give it time. What I will say is the Champions League doesn't really get going anyway in the old format as well until yeah. no. you get to the knockout stages anyway, no, right? Don't. It don't, but you've got to be in the knockout stages. So if you have a problem before Christmas, you might not make that. Mm. Uh, Liverpool came through what many considered to be their first big test against Chelsea. Are they convincing you more and more with every game, Stuart? I think they were more consistent in this game than some of the games that I've seen uh, Liverpool over over this season. But um, I think so. Uh, He's impressed me with how he's seamlessly got into Liverpool. I think he gets Liverpool, you know, and Klopp created a dynasty there you know the fans loved him and everything and I think he's got about it in a quiet way he's not tried to emulate Klopp he's done his own thing but he's done it in a quiet relaxed way and uh, the results are there for all to mm. see I want to ask you stay with Liverpool for a moment I want to talk to you about Mohamed Salah because um, he moved level with Jermaine Defoe as the ninth high scorer in Premier League history that was on Sunday when he scored his 162nd goal in the competition obviously against Chelsea He's made 271 Premier League appearances, 258 of them coming of them coming for Liverpool. I don't know what that means. Uh, he's also the fifth highest scorer in Liverpool's history, but his contract expires in the summer. Mm. He's been heavily linked with a lucrative move to Saudi Arabia. Now, yeah. many a time I've had the conversation with, with Benty. I can't remember who I had it with yesterday, but whenever I get big names on, like yourself, I ask this question and everyone's answer is different because mm. I personally put Mohamed Salah at the top of this the four main players that Liverpool have got, which are Salah, Trent, Virgil and the goalkeeper. Mm. I think Salah's the most important. I think letting him move would be... Not letting him move, but if he were to leave the club, it's massive for them. Most people say Virgil van Dijk's the most important. I would say Salah. Yeah? Personally. Um, Yeah, I would say Salah. I would say, if you're going to list those on that list, I would say Trent would come in fourth out of all of those. Mm -hmm. Uh, Probably... Salah first, Van Dijk second, uh, Allison third. So um, I wouldn't want him to go. But if you're in a financial situation where he could go for multi millions, yeah, does it balance got to the cash books? in? Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Um, he, um, I mean, his numbers are ridiculous. Yep. He uh, he has now provided as many league assists, Premier League assists, seventy four as Thierry Henry. He needs 30 more goals to catch him in the goal-scoring charts. I mean, that alone is nuts. Salah's goals per game is 0.60. Henri's was a tiny bit better, 0.68. Salah, get this, he's averaging 32 goal contributions per season at Liverpool. It's incredible. It is incredible, isn't mm. it? How how highly do you rate him? When you talk about the great players in Premier League history, mm. where do you rank him? Because Benzi always says it's Thierry Henry. And that's hard to argue the point. Yeah. But Salah's got to be in that conversation now, hasn't he? Um, I think I always think that, that Henri's been the best player ever to play in the Premier League. That would be my assessment of it. He, you know, he, he used to pick the ball up and he's like a kid in the playground, brush past five players and get a shot away. You know, he's incredible. Um, but Salah and what he's delivered, the numbers that he's delivered, and the fact that you know he's moved out of Chelsea because he wasn't. You know, hitting the ground running really is, is quite incredible. He's yeah. been brilliant for them. Yeah, I forget actually, or oh, I forgot he was at Chelsea because that line where I said he's made 271 Premier League appearances, 258 of them coming for Liverpool. The other, what, 13 were obviously in a Chelsea mm-hmm. shirt. You forget yeah. that. that he, yeah. he almost, fa- well, he did fail there, right? That's why, but he was he was yeah. much younger and his, his body yeah, exactly. shape was totally different. And, and that's, that's a lesson for all of us in the Premier League. De Bruyne falls into that as well. Yeah. You know, what he's done at Man City compared to what he's done at Chelsea is totally different. And there's a lesson there for, for all of us when we look at certain players and judge them very quickly when they arrive in the Premier League. Yeah. You need to give players time. You do. Just a quick yeah. word about Man City. They are Sparta Private. It's live over on TalkSport 2 at 8 o'clock tonight. Man- 
Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.